So I'm in the greenhouse on a cold winter day, enjoying these two very dormant figs that have been growing in here for several years. I've also been growing many figs in pots and just a few figs in ground with a lot of protection out here in Colorado. And I just want to take a minute to share uh, my favorite way of pruning figs, especially to encourage fruit production, really maximize fruiting. And I want to start with this main theme. The more branches, generally, the more fruit. So when we prune, no matter how we prune, we really want to encourage a lot of side branches or lateral branches, really causing these long, thick branches to branch out. Because the more branches there are, the more nodes there are. And generally, the more nodes there are, the more fruit there is, since the fruit, especially the main crop, will grow right in the corner of where that leaf stem hits the branch. So I just finished pruning here, and you can see what I did. You know, these branches are getting real tall. I don't want to reach that high. And you can see all this branch that's not doing anything except supporting, but there are nodes right here that I want to encourage more branching out. So what I did was I went to the top here and I lopped off, I cut off the, the terminal bud or that top area in order to send its energy down into these branches here and hopefully branch out more. So it's really all about where that tree is sending its energy. It's either going to want to go straight up and reach for the stars, or it's going to spend its energy really branching outward. And when it branches outward and there's a lot of lateral growth, that means there are many branches and many fruits. And really, at the end of the day, uh, you're just multiplying your fruit quantities because there are just so many branches now, so much area for the tree to bear fruit on. Another perhaps more subtle reason why I've observed so much more fruit using this type of method is because when there are only a few branches, the growth in the summer, it could be very fast and very tall, extending itself very quickly. And that actually causes the nodes to be more spaced out from that fast growth. And the more spaced out the nodes are, the less fruit there is in a given amount of space. But when there are many branches that the fig is putting energy in, each branch's growth is not quite as fast and quite as long, amounting to shorter spaces between the nodes. And those shorter spaces allow there to be more fruit in that small amount of space. As you can see in the beginning, when I first had this tree, there's my cat over there sleeping, I didn't do this method. You can see these long branches here with really nothing happening off of the sides. And I did get some fruit, but not as much as when I started letting it really branch out like this. Now, this is pretty busy for some, but it's not too busy for me. I get plenty of sun. The sun comes through just fine, and I get a lot of fruit this way. Here's a good example of a lot of encouragement to branch out. This is a very old and, and thick branch here, but it's begin, like it began last year to pop these side branches, which are all gonna bear fruit from me just because I started to lop the top. I started to cut off the top of these. So it sent more energy, uh, distributing more energy downward so that it's getting more of those lateral branches. I also anticipate that to start happening on these branches here as this one's swelling. And actually, here's a good example, if you can see this, of a swelling node right here on this main branch. So that will be a new branch this year coming out uh, to have yet another area of fruit. So basically, if you have a branch that is very long with no lateral branches coming off of it, I recommend cutting it like I did here. This had another three feet of just straight branch with no laterals. So I cut that part off. And now this year, I anticipate lots of side branches coming off of here, kind of like what's happening here below. And here is one more example that I'll cut right now is uh, this area from here all the way up is getting pretty long. So I want to encourage more side growth like these two here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And when you, whenever you make a cut, whenever you're pruning any kind of tree, uh, always prune right above the node. I'd say no more than half inch. So you can see that there's a node there, perhaps it's a little dark, I apologize, but right there, there's one. I'm gonna cut uh, no more than a half inch above it and just make that cut. There it is. It's going to encourage more growth 
and more energy and fruit production in the main uh, lower portion of the tree here. This is why also I personally like to allow my fig trees to have several main branches to take more of that uh, tree shrub or shrub tree type of shape as opposed to a tree with a main trunk. Now you can totally have a tree with a main trunk or, or fewer main trunks and that's just fine. Um, if you prune it that way, I just recommend soon enough training it into branching out into many branches like this. Now, one more little tip here that might help you that I've heard, I've tried it and it seems to work. Um, but if you see an area on a, on the trunk, let's say right here, it's kind of backlit guys, but okay, right here, th there's a node. Whenever you see a node and you really want it to branch out and you want to encourage the branching out, then one thing you can do is either take like a serrated knife, a knife of some sort, or even the side of your pruners and go right above it and actually uh, press the pruners into the tree. Um, not too much, but just a little bit enough to make like maybe about a half inch, maybe just a little bit more of a cut, like just like this. And uh, that will create kind of a bruise. The cadmium layer of the tree will heal very quickly but it'll kind of disrupt the upward energy just enough to help send some energy into that node area or potential node, and it should branch out for you more easily at least. Here's a spot that I would love to see that happen more with because this is all open area. There's, there's no fruit in this main area because there's not that many branches. So I'm actually gonna take my pruners a little bit, right? I'm gonna find that spot right there, right above, and I'm just gonna rock it back and forth, pierce the, the bark just a little bit and create that bruise right there. See how it's like kind of bleeding out a little bit? That's okay, the tree is totally fine. Um, that will heal up and hopefully, just hopefully, it'll actually cause more of this energy to stop right there and cause it to sprout a new branch. So I hope this was practical and simple and flexible enough to help you. There's no one way to, to prune a fig tree. Figs can be pruned in so many different ways for so many different reasons. But if you do keep these factors in mind and this theme in mind of branching out and many, many lateral branches, I am confident that it will really maximize how much fruit you get. And signing off, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy one of these winter kumquats here, growing beautiful and really tasty. Until next time.